everyone. We're here on day number three on our trip in South Carolina, but it's actually project number two. I'm really excited. It's gonna be the medium pondless waterfall package. It's gonna be 15 feet long. We have a four to 8,000 gallon per hour pump and it's in an awesome setting. We're here to help Jay Duke out. That's how we got down here in South Carolina. If you have not yet, check him out with Rivercrest. Make sure to follow him on Facebook. He does tons of live videos. You're always gonna see something cool. He has learned so much in the last three years. He's taught us a lot. We're here helping him, teaching him, and it's just fantastic. Jay's coming in with the dingo. That means this is gonna get taken apart really quickly, and we're gonna start doing what we do. We're gonna use eight small aqua blocks, a pump housing vault, a four to 8,000 gallon pump, five underwater lights, and some really sweet custom stones. So thanks for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure to give us a comment. What are you liking so far? What do you want to see more of? And make sure to subscribe to Rivercrest on Facebook. I'm Nick the Pond King, and this is our channel where we're just trying to show the world that water features are fun, starting right here in Florence, South Carolina. Thanks, everybody. good progress right now the guys are cutting our fabric to get ready to throw it into the basin we're gonna need three pieces of this we've got our liner roll of waterfall liner plumbing basin liner ready to roll so really the only thing next is to put together our basin the guys put together the aqua blocks by the time jay gets here we're gonna have ourselves a basin that's in and pretty much just waiting for him to come in so we can gravel it in and then we get to do the creative stuff and that's where things get really fun <laughs> teaching the guys how to strap boulders over there. We've got our first one in and that water is gonna come down and crash around this and just let it spread out and do its thing as it comes over. Gonna put a frame rock on this side to get up over that. Another frame rock, but a lower one so that we can put something overhanging right there. And then we're gonna build our way back. That's how we do it. time we're foaming in what we can we kind of used up what we had for material on site which was the goal of the day so that means we hit our goal we've got some really cool things happening jay has these awesome big flat rocks at his shop that we were able to come and utilize and so we have a giant rock there matt is kneeling on our waterfall rock right now it's another one of those giant rocks so we have this awesome congruent look happening we're gonna end up putting a rock over where the dingo is now at some point and then we'll put a couple back there and so we're gonna have this awesome look so it looks like this was 
was supposed to be here and uh, I'm really happy with the way this is looking but my customer is really what matters is our client happy <laughs> the team of six is really working well together and getting a lot done and it's awesome uh, we've got some sweet boulder work going on here we worked on some outcropping so that we're really helping tell that story when we when we throw in the sound of the running water here it's just going to really help this feel like a really personal paradise it's what we do so thanks for joining us everyone make sure to hit that subscribe button keep watching because we're going to show you how that was made and how it came to life coming up here next thanks for joining us thing I'm pumped about is it is really fun to do something that matters for people who matter with people who matter but what I didn't say yesterday which I really wanted to is how cool this project is uh, and how meaningful it is to Jay and the, the customers uh, Jay is a retired state patrol officer he worked with the South Carolina State Patrol for many years and uh, he had to retire today we're working on the gentleman who trained Jay in he rode with him for 12 weeks and uh, he has since retired as well. But we're working on their water feature and they are just huge supporters of Jay. And now we really get to show them just how cool it is in person and, and why it is that we've fallen in love with water features. We're going to help them fall in love with water features too, which is going to be awesome. So. I'm really pumped because we're doing something for somebody that has a lot of meaning and we're really, they don't even know what they're getting quite yet and it's so cool because this whole area is about to come to life when we add this sound of running water. Thanks for joining us everyone, stay tuned because we got a lot to show you today and I can't wait to say check this out yet again. Alright everyone, thanks for joining us. time check this out we were kind enough to be delivered Starbucks by this pretty young lady say good morning, good morning. thank you for for us coffee say you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. well you have a good day miss Riley yeah, thank you so much for the coffee say I catch you later I catch you later Thank you so much, Miss Lady. All right, update time. Jay found an awesome piece of driftwood and he knew right when he got it, he wanted it to be a waterfall and he put it aside today so we could bring it. And guess what? We're gonna make it a waterfall. So now what we're doing is building a waterfall. We got the drone in the air, so make sure to check that guy out. Pondless waterfall, and one of the things that we have found that where weakness is for a potential leak and a potential tear in the liner is right where the, the diffuser essentially bulkheads through the liner. So, what we did is we cut the circle out for the opening and we put a piece of patch tape on that outside, and we have now got the diffuser stuck through the liner. So, we're going to silicone it just like you normally would but we put us a nice piece of cover tape on the outside just to double it up and give a reinforcement so that when we put a little tension on there, there's no chance of tearing the liner or creating a pocket in there where water can make its way through. As soon as he said patch, doing our patch and cover tape over that, it, it was like a light bulb went off in my head because it's exactly how we do our bulkheads. So this is gonna be our new standard. It's one extra step, but it's gonna solve any potential problems in the road. We haven't had any problems yet, but with Minnesota's freezing and thawing, that is a very good spot for a potential problem. So I'm really excited at the new piece of knowledge we just learned and we're gonna apply it right away when we get back in town. Thank you, Jay, for sharing your knowledge so generously. Yes, sir.
Matt are working on details. We've got the sun coming down. Got Mr. Jay McCormick here. Yeah, Jay's doing his thing with the lights. We're gonna have this running in no time. Can't wait. It's looking so cool. And that gentleman with the white t-shirt on gets the honors tonight. Check this out. Sponsored by Pond King Water Gardens, living works of art, one yard at a time.